I am Anthony from Hasnet, and today we are going to talk about the history of interchangeability between Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus in the toy line. Before I begin, I would like to thank Rodimus Primal for his contribution. You can check out his channel on YouTube, and his social media will be included in the video description. In 1984, Hasbro had acquired the rights to reproduce many different Japanese toy lines for the North American toy market. Teaming up with Takara, Hasbro had decided that they were going to brand the toys differently from Japan by unifying the toy lines. However, they needed a story to go along with the toys, and with that, Hasbro asked Marvel Comics to create a universe for the Transformers. Writers Bud Budiansky and Jim Shooter named and created biographies for the robots in disguise. Beginning all the way back in the first generation known as G1, Optimus and Ultra's names were created just like every other character's because the name sounded cool. Because Optimus and Ultra's toys were similarly designed trucks, it was decided that they were commanders. Thus began a history of Optimus and Magnus being linked together in design in some way. It was not until later in the comic books that the Autobots would establish that Prime and Magnus were military-style ranks. Now, on to Rodimus Primal to show you how the G1, Optimus, and Ultra were connected in that original toy line. Okay, here is Ultra Magnus, the Toys R Us reissue, of course, same thing with Optimus Prime, hence why they both have shorter smoke smokestacks. But uh, you can interconnect them with their trailers, of course. Take the cab of one and allow the other one to carry it, if you so desire. There we go. And you can have both driving in that way. Okay, so I have Ultra Magnus here, uh, fully prepared to uh, receive the white Ultra Magnus uh, cab, which basically what you have to do is transform it so that the head is above and then you reclose everything back up with the legs flat. And then on the back here, you connect him to the tabs like so. And that's basically what you do for transforming him into robot mode and then the head gets attached, just like so. But, the whole thing about this was that it was the same mold, so, Optimus Prime can power up with Ultra Magnus's trailer and can even wear the helmet so basically, we have Optimus Prime as Ultra Magnus. In 2001, the original Robots in the Skies animated series hit North American television. Returning from the Beast Wars, North American audiences had not seen Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus in animation since the original animated series had ended nearly 15 years earlier. In this new series, Optimus was now a fire truck while Ultra was still a car carrier. Unlike with the other G1 toys where Prime and Magnus could swap parts, in Robots in Disguise, they merged into Omega Prime. So this is Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus from the Robots in Disguise series. Uh, you can tell that there's somewhat of a height difference. It's very minimal. Of course, uh, Magnus is a little bit taller. And uh, again, fire truck, uh, car carrier, their, transform their transformations are modular. Uh, which is weird because previously Transformers didn't come apart to go back together. Uh, for example, Optimus has like one, two, three, three six, six separate parts. Uh, plus this piece comes off here because he has, he has a, a basic form. And um, then you create the fire truck. And then, of course, uh, Ultra Magnus is a car carrier. But what makes them different is they combine to Omega Prime. So, uh, I will show you Mega Prime, and then I will transform them into their vehicle forms. And that is Omega Prime. He is ooh, just slightly taller than Ultimate Optimal Optimus Prime. Or Prime, I should say. Uh, he is a big boy. And I mean, look at all these extra pieces here. I mean, here's the extras from uh, um, Optimus. Just a little bit from Ultra Magnus. 
you see he uses Ultra Magnus's uh, back end for his trailer, uh, and then there's the core um, Optimus, and then of course these arms are inverse of Ultra Magnus's arms. Then here's Ultra Magnus's chassis, and uh, and then of course all these extra parts. And um, he is a bear. He, he, first off, he's heavy. I mean, he looks cool, but I'm like I'm afraid to put this weapon on him, which uh, goes on him, and um, you can shoot stuff. As I take these guys apart, here's what Optimus looks like in his base form. Figured uh, it's the only one I haven't shown, and he, he's a uh, he looks kind of like the classic Optimus. That's I guess the goal was to give him an updated look for robots in disguise. Uh, but uh, again, he's a fire truck. So the one thing that I thought was interesting is there's lights here, and they do light up. The battery pack had batteries in it, but uh, it does not. So then here is Optimus and Ultra Magnus uh, in their vehicle forms. As you see, uh, and we'll move Optimus over a little bit, um, Magnus is clearly like a full-on car carrier. Uh, he could actually load a car here and a couple up here if you take this piece off. And uh, he looks more like, I guess functionally, a three-car carrier closer to the original G1 Magnus. But uh, then we get to Optimus, who is uh, clearly a fire truck, and um, his uh, super form, it, you can clearly see it. There's an empty cavity here in which it's kind of nestled in, uh, but uh, he looks pretty good. Uh, my understanding is this design is more akin to a, a Japanese fire truck, which uh, I th think, yeah, so over here on the side here, you can see uh, Japanese spelling. But uh, of course these then are the uh, Robots in Disguise, uh, Optimus Prime, and Ultra Magnus. In 2019, Hasbro released a new toy line named War for Cybertron Siege. The War for Cybertron Trilogy toy line was both a continuation of the previous Prime War Trilogy's toy line, as well as a design update for a number of G1 Transformers. While there was a classic Optimus available in the toy line, other versions of Optimus were also released. Based upon the Cybertron animated series, part of the Unicron trilogy released in North America television between 2002 and 2005, Optimus was again a fire truck but had a galaxy upgrade. Ultra was again a car carrier but his update was based on his original G1 design. Instead of merging, as within the G1 toy line, Optimus and Magnus could once again swap parts. So what you see in front of me is Galaxy Optimus Prime, or Optimus Prime Galaxy Upgrade. And then of course over here is Ultra Magnus. Now these are both from the Siege toy line. Now they have released other Optimuses, uh, basically more of the classic. So what we got here is kind of like a matching set. So uh, let me put uh, Magnus aside and we're gonna open up Optimus here. And then here's a comparison with him with uh, Magnus. A as you see, they're generally about the same height. And you can look, clearly you look at it and see that there's a number of similar things. And uh, which I think makes it really interesting So, um, in the previous video, I did cover Ultra Magnus' transformation, and uh, we're not going to really cover the whole thing of it. But um, the weird thing about Optimus is, well, they go back to being a fire truck, but of course, this is a reissue of a previous version of Optimus uh, post the original series. Now, with Ultra here, they kind of go between a uh, similar upgrade. Uh, using air quotes here, but still keeping it in line with um, the size and scope of this Optimus uh, because of the interchangeability that you get. So, real quick, I mean, it's not difficult. You just pull the feet off and they just slide off. And, uh, the one thing that always confuses me is the way these guns work. Like, they're, they're double as ladders. Because, I mean, this is a fire truck, so... But, uh... Take these things off. There we go. 
So you see these whole top piece just comes off, and uh, it's it's similar to the Robot in the Skies version, which I, I think is less a coincidence now that I've gone through the process of working on it. But uh, anyway. So for him, you pull him forward, um, detach his arms, bring this down, and switch this around. The important part is pulling this all the way forward so you can get the head out. There we go. Reattach the arms. Belt back up. And you end up with a sort of updated look to Optimus, which I forgot these come off. There we go. And I think he looks pretty cool as an updated version of Optimus, but then this is where the fun is. I'm going to put this parts here. Uh, Ultra has interchangeability too. Oh. And before I get too far, I'm, I'm actually going to show you how they look changed over. And of course, he also has the the peer that detaches. Let's not forget these things. Oops, I'm going to get the head out first. Attach the arms. Yeah, anyway. You can clearly see the near identical design of um, Ultra and Optimus. I mean, there's little differences here. So now uh, we've taken the armor apart. Now we can <laughs> reverse a little bit of what we just did to uh, switch them around. So far, so good. So, there's a realization the two tabs here don't necessarily work.
which is uh, notice this and this um, pieces on the arms are accurate. Then, of course, these. So that's Magnus in the gal uh, galaxy armor. And then put Optimus into the Magnus armor. And you'll notice that these also have the uh, tabby bits. I'm like, am I putting them on the wrong way? I, I am. There we go. Actually, hold off on that until I put this guy on. And then there's Optimus in the Magnus armor, um, which is just spectacular. So what we're going to do now is transform Optimus into his vehicle mode. And again, uh, there's a different video you can watch if you want to see Magnus' transformation. Uh, so I'm going to kind of just go fast through these things. I have him here. Pull out his front end. And you, uh, his legs go up. And then there's a little clip here. And that's where he locks in once you get it up there. And then, of course, these two pieces down here. And then get his arms. There's a tab here, like this. Again, fix his arms. Tab here. And you're like, uh-oh, he looks broken. Well, it's because these are his front tires. So the way these work is you're basically connecting the grill and then uh, the front tires lock into place. And, and of course, here's Optimus's truck mode. I, I kind of like the sleek look of it. I mean, I love the classic Optimus, but um, that looks pretty Pretty awesome. Okay, so let's start taking these pieces off of, of Ultra here. I'm gonna stick him in a pile. So this one folds up all weird. Because what you have to do is you up with essentially a fire truck back end. I don't know how else to explain it. And then these guys. The shoulder bits go in here, and I never get them right. I feel like... Oh, well, okay. First time for everything. Oh, I'm doing it wrong in this one. Here, why not? Here we go. 
There we go. They go like this. Then, of course, you connect them together. So far, so good. <laughs> and then this one, you got to swing it around. Like, meh. what happens is this will connect to this and then this part here will connect to the truck I mean you can do stuff like that but uh, anyway um, you look like it's at an angle obviously you might have to, and we're going to have to because it looks like this piece wants to move out of the way and it's weird. Let's see if I, I don't like the way that these are loose like this because it makes it more difficult to align them. But once you have it in, you can clip it in. There we go. And then you see you have this set up here. And I'll show you from the side. Um, so <laughs> it, it's weird. At least it feels weird to me. And let's move these up a little bit. Because you kind of have to get his feet in. You have to get this clip in here, and it it, it 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 is a pain in the butt. There it goes. It is slowly knock other things away, and then you attach this other piece to the spine. If it'll let me, there we go. And then you there's little clips here. I'm gonna show you a clip. See the clip? So this clip uh, it goes here. Do it on both sides. And this is Galaxy Prime. There you go. Um, my, my, my really only criticism is perhaps the the way that it, it, it kind of does this like you can see there's a curvature and and like unless you force it down the tires don't all touch but i mean otherwise it looks pretty cool and the interchangeability though it be not perfect with ultra magnus makes it spectacular so then there's the question of if optimus can connect to ultra's backside so we take him apart Obviously, you know, we'll throw them together here. Here we go. As you see, there's this tab here that goes between the legs. Oops. There we go. And then this piece right here goes on top of the cab around the smokestacks. Oh, there we go. And that's prime in the ultra armor. Again, a little bit of curvature, which annoys the crap out of me. But uh, for those who are curious, make sure he's pulled forward. And there's Magnus in the galaxy armor. Although, again, the bend thing is very annoying. But, uh, yeah, so they're interchangeable for the most part. Just for laughs, I wanted to show you one more thing. This is Ultra Magnus's weapons put together. They remind me of the Power Rangers, the original Morphin Power Rangers, um, when they combine all five of their weapons. Like, this thing looks killer. It is... Wow. That is... That is... That is one, one spectacular gun.
Uh, the best I could do with Optimus was like he only has three detachable pieces. So I mean, I guess he can hold it like like this, but uh, it doesn't look quite as cool. Uh, I mean, you can obviously connect the front like to hear something, but you still have the situation of the the guns aren't necessarily porting at the same level. Uh, so, I mean, that that's kind of cool. Be they subordinates, brothers, or simply soldiers, Optimus and Magnus have been connected in some way since the beginning. Sure, the third and fourth seasons of the original animated series never had Optimus and Magnus working together, but later series and comic books would rectify that and provide additional backstory explaining their connection. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. Also, do not forget to check out Rodimus Primal's channel on YouTube for more in-depth Transformers discussions. My name is Anthony for Hatchless Night, and we are an Amazon associate. So every time you go and watch one of our videos or visit our website, you can find links to our Amazon associate page, which I'm showing you right here. So every single time we show an item on our videos or website, that we can find on Amazon and we will post them for you so you can buy them for yourself. Now, every time you make a purchase, we get a little bit of that and that helps us continue to buy more products to do more videos. So as you can see, as I scroll through here, a lot of transformers, various toys, electronics. So we have plenty of things if you're looking to start a collection. And of course, if you're looking to update technology, you can even check out the same computers we review. And of course, any equipment we use in the process of making the videos or updating our office and even, even the books I wrote. So take a few seconds there and check out our Amazon Associates page and you know buy something. Thanks for watching. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledgenet and our website at hasledge.net.